Welcome to this session for the Power Pack for Advanced Steel. In this session we're going to talk about the basics of stairs, in particular the setting out arrangement details for a single flight. So welcome to this session on stair creation using the Power Pack tool from Greatech and we're going to take a look at a simple one flight type stair that's found on the stairs palette. So obviously I selected the command there and I'm prompted at the command line and also if you're using the dynamic menu you'll see it appear there as well for the initial start point in the XY plane. So select that point. Then I'm asked to define the height and actually I want to define the height and actually the, the overall going as well. So that's the horizontal measurement and the vertical measurement. And in my case here, because I'm using an overlap in the stair on the tread, I need to actually extend the horizontal by that overlap value. So I'm going to pick that point there. Now you see the dialog change and it comes up and it asks you with whether you want to the right stringer, center or left. So I'm actually going to enter one because I want a center line stringer. So sometimes that's called the run line. So it just takes a few moments for the macro to activate and create the stair arrangement. And what we're going to do is when it comes in, we're obviously going to just take a quick look at some of the elements within the dialogue. So you can see it's created a basic form of a stair. And the first things that I would do actually is come down here and make sure that my tread arrangement was actually correct for the staircase I was going to draw. So here I want to change this first element here to going and overlap. So I check that box there and the stair arrangement will change. Um, you can change the placement of the tread. I'm actually going to leave it so it's one tread up. So the first tread is actually at this nosing point here. And I'm going to leave the top one where it is as well there set. So it's under the level as shown there under the radio button. The next thing is I'm just going to come and check the type of tread. So at this moment, I'm just going to leave it on the standard treads and we'll come back to this in one of the latest video series to explain the different tread types here. The next part I would go to is dimensions and I would check my overlap value into here under this field cell here. So obviously minus 30 millimeters, but if yours isn't, you can type it in and press enter on the keyboard and it will then change that to the value that you put in. Next, I would come back to my definition tab here, and I just want to check obviously the height of the stair, which is 1800, so that's uh, as I set out. And the overall length measurement is 2 meters 280, so that was my goings plus my overlap value, so that's correct. And this is where you can also affect the width of the stair. By default, it will be a meter, but if I want to change that value, I can enter that in there, and the stair will increase and that value is between the stringers. Next I'll just come and check the ergonomics tab here and I'm looking for a rise of 180 and a going of 250 which has been achieved and a stride measurement of 610. So that is done automatically. If it doesn't come in automatically you can uncheck that and you can adjust the number of treads if you so wish to achieve what you require. I'm just going to check that back again and make it back to the automatic value. Uh, you have a couple of other information tabs here. This is the constraints. So this is your rising plus two goings, you know, the standard calculation formula. You can change that if you so wish. This tells you that the stair is within a desired range. So it's in this green segment of the protractor. And the graph gives you some idea of where the tread falls within that based upon the criteria that's coming from the two rise plus G and obviously the values that we put in for the maximum and minimum permissible uh, measurements. And they're normally coming from a defined standard. So that's how you set the basics of the stair and make sure that the geometry is correct, the definition, the ergonomics is correct, your tread is set correct uh, to the layout arrangement of going and overlap and obviously the dimension for the overlap is set as well. We'll continue on with in the next video series to discuss further.